Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's May the 9th, 2023. Let's talk about Tilray today because the last time I did a video on Tilray, I didn't drop a price prediction. The market was weak and I wanted us to see confirmation that the buyers are going to hold this trend line right here. And as you all can tell, it didn't happen. So let's see if the market in Tilray is actually prepared to go higher now. Okay, so I did the video on December the 6th. So let me zoom in on the chart and show you what was going on in the market in Tilray at that particular time right here. Okay, we got that indicator of weakness right there, the up fake. Believe what you see on the chart. That's all I can tell you. This up fake, which occurred on December the 6th, led to, look at this as I zoom out, Tilray going lower. See that? If you saw that up fake bar, it was the beginning stages letting you know that this market is weak. Why would you not follow the price? That is the only thing that matters in the stock market is price and how people perceive it. That indicator told you precisely why we saw price. Let's say, let's see. Price went from $4.06 on December the 6th on the close, 2022, to the low right here on April the 26th. It went down 46 and a half percent. That one indicator showed you that the market went down 46 percent. It gave you a heads up. It gave you a heads up. So now let's see what we have here, because this area now in Tilray is support, if anything, at least momentarily. OK, I'm not saying that this is, in fact, the bottom in Tilray but it's right around here so we're going to identify this area okay that's it that's the only thing we can do for the time being is recognize that that is where buyers are coming in and marketing until right now the last time we came down here two dollars and 25 cents the market only ran up to like 270 275 and came back down check this out believe the charts okay we came up here on indicator of strength, a push to go up, right? On April the 10th, this was on earnings. Market fell down, okay, you see that? We got another push to go up bar right around the same area that we saw it on April the 10th. But this time, instead of price going lower, we saw the market close back up here at the high end of the bar. So it tells me that the market is trying to go and it's trying to go up now this area is resistance so yes that is why this market in Tilray currently is being paused into going up this area is impacting the market action in Tilray we have sellers here okay sellers are currently positioned right there around two dollars maybe like two dollars and eighty cents that's the reason the market is currently being re restricted and to continue to flow up that's the reason okay Look at this on the two day chart. Let me go ahead and get rid of this up here. Here it is on the two day time frame. This tells us that the likelihood of the sellers holding back price at 280, it doesn't look like they're going to win. This is another indicator of strength. Puts it go up. That's great to see that on the two day chart. Take it out and check it out there. Another indicator on a different time frame of strength. Puts to go up. Is telling you that this market in Tilray is trying to go higher. Five day chart. Weekly chart, look at that on the weekly. So I do think price in Tilray is trying to go higher. Simple, right? The only problem is this area of resistance, which we talked about already. But given that, we're going to look for the market in Tilray to go higher. Our first target is going to be around three bucks. I can see that as the next area to hold back the buyers. Okay. I like the two weekly chart too. It's pretty strong there too. So we may have enough momentum to see the market in Tilray run to like three fifteen, three dollars ten cents, three dollars fifteen cents. Okay. So let me go ahead and put those two targets on the chart and then I will be through. We'll go ahead and let you get your time back. So like I said, we're looking for the price to go up. 
outside of 280 um, our first target is going to be around I'm going to do a little bit less than three dollars uh, I'm going to do like two dollars and 95 cents give or take that's only 6.83 percent move higher you guys can see it there two dollars and 97 cents and then our second target is going to be around like 310 to like 315 okay that's 12.59% market move higher three dollars and 13 cents there okay now we're going to look for the market until rate to go higher as long as the price holds like 250 two dollars and fifty cents okay so that's nine point seven one percent loss there that is it I am done give me thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.